Well, I hope what happens is that they don't see it as being exciting or in any way funny or entertainment. It's very difficult for them because they're used to seeing war on a picture, whether it's on their telephones or whether it's on their iPads, they'll flick on and they'll see a, a picture of Syria, a bombed village and people being carried out of the buildings. Or they'll see some old film. It doesn't give you time to think. And war is such a terrible thing. The children have to learn about it relatively slowly. What you mustn't do with them is to terrify them and frighten them with images of war. Much better that they have a story where they can imagine what goes on in a war through the people living in the story, whom they get to know, whom they get to care about. And the other thing I think about, about the subject, really, is that it's all very well to say it's terrible. I don't think children are very impressed by that. They need to feel it themselves. They need to know what it is like to be in the middle of a war and discover for themselves how terrible it is. They don't want to be preached at or told about it. They want to discover it. And that can come through an animal. It can come through um, a war horse. There can be a horse in it that or, or a dog like Shadow uh, in Afghanistan. There are many, many ways which you can take the children on a path into what happens in a war through something else besides the death and disaster. That they will learn slowly and gradually, and you hope will begin to work it out themselves.